Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, June 7th, 2020, and it's about 4.45 p.m. here in Pasadena, California. Here is the update since the last uh, video briefing. First, uh, and this is in no particular order, first, uh, Stanley Ho, who is the uh, founder, basically the father of the Macau gambling empire, died. Um, I'm just, it's kind of interesting to me that that would take place while we're talking about Macau and uh, basically, you know, all of the gambling activity there and the restart and how that's gone. So uh, he just passed away. I just kind of fascinating right in the middle of all this. Uh, Tesla cutting prices. Um, I've seen like three or four emails this month from Tesla. I've been a subscriber uh, for a long time just to keep track of their marketing stuff. And I've seen multiple emails just in the last 30 days. Uh, that just tells me uh, the condition of the car business. Tesla is one of the the vendors. I would never. I would not expect any sort of discounting to take place relative to the rest of the market. It's kind of like Apple, when you see Apple put things on sale. So I think that just tells you where where the market is. Uh, if Tesla is having to push out rebates and 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 have price cuts to spawn volume, uh, Coachella has been moved to 2021. Again, I mention these things because these are real dates. Uh, because of the amount of money involved and the people involved and the planning that goes into this, these types of things, and I've talked to Ace about this sort of thing, these types of events are not going to be rescheduled unless every aspect of this uh, shows that they cannot do it without uh, a problem. You know, either that be insurance or, you know, something is keeping it. So they're not going to delay any longer than absolutely necessary. So these kinds of reschedules are to be taken very seriously in the view of all of the information out there, especially the politicians trying to move the bar all the time and tell you that things are going to happen sooner than they really are. So Coachella, huge, probably, the, I think, un, undoubtedly the largest music festival around right now, moving to 2021. Uh, USPS volume down. This is a, a general delivery volume down 50%. Uh, that's just, again, you know, I mean, it's not too surprising when you cut the whole economy in half, it's going to affect everything, including the delivery of mail and the amount of mail being sent out, because that, of course, has to be paid for. Uh, graduating job prospects for the millennials is the worst in U.S. history. Um, yeah, I have a couple uh, graduates there. Uh, well, I mean, I have one uh, high school and one in going into college, and it's just really, really, um, it's really difficult right now. Boston, Boston Marathon canceled. That's another indicator of the calendar. Um, no pandemic insurance. This was brought up early. Um, this is more an SRI item, but uh, there's not going to be any way to get insurance against pandemics in the future. And this is not a risk fear that's going to go away anytime soon. And this is where our sports risk index product would come into play uh, as, a, as a, a product that would fill that gap. So this is a, a, later, a later discussion, but I do think it's important to, uh, to, to mention that, that we have a product that will fill that need in the marketplace. Uh, and we've been working on it. Well, I mean, we've, we completed it 10 years ago, basically. Uh, sports shares uh, shipments from uh, I think it's February about February uh, up until March or whenever I shut the site down February March um, I'm going to start shipping those out and I'm going to have them all done by the end of this month June 30 2020 um, the that includes the prize items that were drawn the newspaper uh, New York Times uh, Zach stuff signed uh, uh, memorabilia all of that stuff will ship. Um, the only exception is the currency album, and I've kind of lost track of, of, of who is owed that uh, from the promotions that went out. So I, I do need to make that order for those albums. So if you received a promotion and you believe that you are owed one of those, please drop a quick um, email to support at asmfree.com, support at asmfree.com, and tell me so I could create a, a list and w once those are, are uh, uh, arrived, that's going to take a bit longer, then I'll ship those out. That's not going to be part of the package that's going to ship out by the end of this month. That's going to come later. I need to tally that, place the order, and then uh, ship those out. It'll probably be a couple more months before, before those go out. 
So again, if you believe that you're owed a, uh, I've got the list on the other stuff and it's accurate. I need to know on the currency album, just that part of it. Uh, please drop an email to support at ASM Free. Um, very good uh, uh, reporting on uh, betting taxes and their effects on the state budgets. I know that the gambling faction is trying to push forward the idea that gambling is some sort of a fix for the budget problems. There, that's insane on so many levels. I'm not going to get into that here. But uh, AP, Associated Press, had a story about that there is uh, no, no model that shows that any betting tax will come anywhere close to generating the necessary shortfalls in the budgets in the state's budgets and that has no accounting whatsoever of the losses that are created for society in general and the state in terms of bankruptcies and increased police actions and the things that come from uh, by promoting gambling. So uh, G7 is delayed. That's another one of those cases of they're not going to do this unless they have uh, no choice. So take that very seriously on determining the calendar. Uh, Steve Ballmer uh, says, uh, Microsoft Steve Ballmer, owner of the Clippers, who, by the way, uh, we're connected to through Clipper Daryl, who's uh, the, the Clipper super fan. Um, he says there's not going to be fans in the stands anytime soon. Take that seriously. Uh, Starbucks is slowing down the opening of their restaurants. Uh, they're, they're slowing it up. They had a plan. They're reeling that plan back a little bit. Again, the point is pay attention to that because they're not going to do that unless there are real risks and reasons behind it um, that are preventing them. Because you know you have they have customers that want want to sit in their in their in their shops, and there's no reason to delay that unless there is a concrete uh, reason, which is actually insurance. I'm going to get into that in, in a second here, but the real reason, and I haven't seen any mainline stories come out about this, the reason that you're going to have so much trouble is insurance. Okay, insurance. Um, reputable sources are now saying that it's going to take 10 years to climb out of this. Uh, that's that's the minimum number. Uh, it's the minimum number. I don't want to discourage anybody, but that's the minimum number. I mean, look where we are with 2008. Okay, and uh, that that crash is is was was just on the tail of of being uh, recovered from, and uh, we have this, and this this crash is far larger uh, than the the 2008 Great Recession, far larger. So, anyhow, um, first time. So this is a phenomenon. Now I've been watching the ASM market data from the well from the free test days uh, of of about 2002 2003 up until now. Every single day, I never miss a day. I always watch the the, the activity to to get a, a a measurement of where the market is. And one of the things that I saw when the when the when the uh, unrest started uh, because of uh, of the the Floyd killing is uh, the volume fell off of a cliff. And that has never happened for us. Not with uh, the game suspensions. Uh, not, nothing. Not nothing in our history has ever uh, caused the volume to basically s just almost stop uh, for a few days. And then it, and, and then start to recover. Now it's it's come back. It's coming back, and it's come back over the last few days. But um, I've never seen that before in our entire um, you know 15 plus years of running the the market and the and the test models. So what what that tell what that tells me is is that uh, this shock to the system of what's going on out there, especially when on top of the COVID 19 crisis you have the the Floyd uh, crisis. Um, on top of that, and the riots related to that, that, that has such an impact on, on, uh, on our customers, which they're all over the world. They're not just here in the States. Uh, they all stop paying attention. So um, that's huge. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing to see. Okay, so uh, there's a note to the docket on the SEC case uh, that we need to reply to a very specific line in the complaint uh, by the 26th of this month. Uh, it's really something that we've already outlined in, uh, in, in the voluminous filings and materials that we have, but we're going to summarize it and, and shorten it for the judge. That's what he's asking for. And we actually have 
received some uh, help from this behind the scenes from uh, from some uh, legal so from an attorney that's that's been given us some assistance. So uh, we're going to be we're going to be um, uh, putting together that response. It's going to be pretty brief because uh, it's it's not requiring a long long answer. In fact, it's not that's the opposite of what he's asking for the judge. So uh, and there's also a Supreme Court case this week that uh, is going to affect this. Uh, the, the ruling is going to come down and it's going to affect this, believe it or not, this week. So, um, so we're watching that and there'll be more to report on that once that ruling comes out and we analyze it. Uh, AMC theaters may need to shut down. Now this is like, this is <laughs> uh, going back to my childhood. I mean, I, that's where I went to movies uh, in Louisiana. So because of this freeze out of, of theaters, um, you know, that, that theater chain may not make it. So Vegas opening, lots of hype, lots of hype, lots of puff pieces and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, big <laughs> zero. Okay. Look at the clips yourself. Don't believe me. Read every news story that you can find. Look at raw YouTube videos from people that are visiting now and will be visiting in the next few days. Nobody there. Okay. Exactly as I said, this this does not fit. Okay, to to think that a public that is afraid of of being killed by a virus is going to get on an airplane, which is a tube full of <laughs> other humans from all over the place, and fly to Vegas. First of all, you're going to pay more for the trip. If you're not paying more for it now, you're going to soon be uh, to go gamble with a surgical mask on sitting six feet apart i mean it just it's just nonsense uh and it's it's evidenced by the imagery you can see it for yourself so i'll say it again investing lives gambling dies more specifically sports investing lives sports gambling dies okay uh, we had a, uh, a meeting on Wednesday night with the team and uh, about two and a half hours did not record, not appropriate to record, um, not going to do that anymore. It is, uh, it is, it's just, it's not, there's no upside, nothing but downside. Uh, when there is news to report that we can public re publicly release, then that's how we'll do it. But we did talk about content. So we're, we're working on several new channels of creating content. Uh, we need to be doing that, uh, increase our voice um, in the, um, funny, I just, I didn't make, make mention of this, but um, we are getting a presence out there. I'm getting, every day, I'm getting unsolicited requests from increasingly higher level people. Um, this is not from farming. This is not from any sort of effort on my part. I'm getting uh, uh, requests. I received one from uh, a very, very high level person, I mean, looks like they're one of the founders because they've been there about 30 years of Nike, uh, reached out to me and uh, for to connect. So our job is to, is to continue to create content of all different types. We're doing that internally. Uh, program members are going to get a copy of, the, of one of our new uh, pieces of material in this, uh, with this uh, video. But we want, we want content from, from, our, um, from our traders and from anybody who wants to produce it. It, it's not, doesn't have to be within your, you know, like a particular, we're not telling you you have to make YouTube videos or you have to make Instagram, whatever. If you have a particular thing that you like, that you would like to create uh, content. Now, let me just put it to you really simply. Why do this? Well, first of all, if you're part of ASM, it's going to help that, which is going to help your, your stake in it. But separately, I've said this a long time, pretty much from the start, there is ecosystem creation here of uh, you know, creating a new environment for investing, sports investing, and that is going to create an ecosystem of opportunity for, for just like eBay and Amazon and all that. So if you're going to create a voice, if you want to create a voice now, uh, you know, this is the time to do it is to start getting a voice so that when, when the day comes that you'll be known or you'll have some kind of footprint and you can convert that to a business of your own that's based on sports investing. So the way to do that is to build a voice through content creation, not try to sell anything, but just become a subject matter expert or a voice or something somebody, 
somebody that people want to watch in a particular sector. You know, pick a sector. If you like baseball, baseball. If you like whatever. If you like stock trading, and if that's what you like. So really, that's we need as much of that as possible, and we're going to coordinate all of that stuff and start creating some drip campaigns to to support the order book marketing. So we need as much material as we can to. Uh, because we have a large and growing list of people that we can approach for listing their leagues and teams on our on on all sports market, but while they're making up their mind and to help kind of nudge them along, we need to be dripping out content and not just our content, but content from our traders and from everybody else. So if that's something that you're interested in uh, doing, um, you know, if you have time for that, you want to build a voice for your own enterprise coming, you know, in the future. Please write a note to support at asmfree.com and detail out what that is, and I'll hook you up with uh, the team so we can coordinate all that stuff, and uh, and they can go through the, the the criteria and all that, and then we'll start inserting that into our campaigns. Um, okay, so insurance is the driver for the reopening problem. This is not being said publicly, and but this is the case. The real issue. The reason that you don't see uh, reopenings is because insurance, okay? In this litigious country, the worst in the world for lawsuits, and that's a whole other conversation. I'm not going to get into that rant here. You cannot pack people in into these stadiums and stuff and get insurance, okay? That's what nobody is saying is that nobody's going to underwrite those deals because they cannot price the risk. And if they cannot price the risk, they're not going to write the insurance. If they're not going to write the insurance, then there's not going to be a show. There's not going to be a game. There's not going to be a public event because they can't afford the risk. So that is why you are seeing the stadium issue uh, not solved. <laughs> Because they don't know how to price the risk, because they don't know how the pathology of this virus really works yet, okay? Again, all of this public chatter to try to jawbone the virus away, it's not going to work. Until we get the pathology worked out, until we can price the risk and insurance companies know what they're dealing with, they can, there can be no crowding of people into public venues like that. It's just not possible. So pay attention to that. I'll be, you know, I've yet to see a story come across and say the insurance industry is what's holding back everything, but that's the truth of it. Um, the May 2020 Friday surprise dump the trash jobs report. Okay, complete bullshit. Okay, I don't even have to get into the weeds on this. All you have to do is look at the continuing unemployment claims. Okay, if you don't know what that means, Google continuing unemployment claims, okay? It's about 40 million, okay? It's about 40 million. People do not file unemployment unless they're, they need it, okay? They don't file this randomly, and in a lot of places, it's very hard to get, even in the current conditions. So to say that those people are not unemployed is stupid. It's ridiculous. It's nonsense. To use a survey instead of actual claims, which is illegal, when you file an unemployment claim, you're, that's a legal swear that you're making to the facts that you're claiming and that you need the money is not the same as picking up a phone and saying, yeah, I'm out of a job or, yeah, I, I, I have a half of a job. 40 million unemployed continuing claims. 160 million is the U.S. workforce, roughly. 40 divided by 160 is 25%. So they roughly underreported for political purposes and stock market hype purposes, the unemployment numbers by half, okay? And you'll see the corrections, corrections are already starting, okay? Um, no further order book, yeah, I already covered that. No more, okay? There's nothing to be had by any commentary at all, even a hint, so we're gonna let that alone until we have the signed, sealed, delivered, and ready for publication uh, order books uh, or orders in the order book that we can, can announce. No more. Don't even ask. I will not answer you. And neither would anybody else. Um, 
50% of commercial rents not paid in May, according to the Washington Post. That's, again, commercial real estate. I said that in the beginning, cut in half. Commercial real estate, especially bad news because of this work at home uh, move towards out of necessity. Then it will become obvious that it's cheaper. And, yeah, it's just it doesn't bode well for high capacity office space and commuting and all the rest of that, which frankly, most of that is positive. NFL, uh, in the whole Drew Brees thing and Copernic and the kneeling, this is probably the biggest political firebomb and it's yet to go off. And the reason it's not gone off just yet is because we're still stuck in the George Floyd uh, murder case, murder, no question about it. Um, now the Minneapolis Police Department is disband that. I mean, the shocking, the shocking things don't stop. So just before I started this recording, Minneapolis is going to disband their police department. So, but anyway, NFL reverses on kneeling. Okay. So NFL says, you know what? That's not the right. We took the wrong position there. So stand by for, I won't even get into that. That whole thing is going to turn in, into a big uh, eruption here, guaranteed. Uh, next one on deck here right after something happens with Floyd. Although I, I don't know. I mean, we've got people marching through our neighborhood here. So I'm not sure that that's going to settle down anytime soon. Um, yeah, okay. So program, uh, people that are, are uh, members of the program, which means that you've contributed something since uh, December of last year. Uh, that's, that's the definition since actually Christmas of last year. Uh, roughly, I, I'll call, I mean, to just not to be ridiculous about it, go back to the beginning of December. Uh, so from, from December 1st until now, that's the qualification. If you've contributed anything financially towards our, our needs, I mean, we have a budget like anybody else, then uh, you're going to be receiving a, a, a copy of the very first copy of the Sportsfolio Journal, which is, uh, is an attachment. Uh, it's going to go out um, uh, to, tonight. So that, and then uh, we'll be publishing those with about a 30-day gap uh, to, to the world. So you're going get to a, uh, get a copy of that if you're a program member. Again, that means uh, contributed anything uh, to, to uh, a tax-deductible contribution. That's only if you're U.S., uh, but we are a nonprofit. If you've done that since, uh, since December 1st, okay, so I'll move it back to December 1st, then uh, you'll get a copy of that. And then finally, uh, social investing. I'm starting to hear that buzz a bit again in, in, in light of all the goings on. And I would just like to say that sports investing is social investing, okay? If you want the ultimate social investing, sports investing is the social investing. And no, bets aren't investments. <laughs> I know you guys have uh, fantasized about trying to mind fuck people on that, uh, gaslight them and make them think that bets are investments, but uh, yeah, that's not gonna fly. Uh, um, people know the difference. Writ large, if you ask somebody, uh, you know, when they got married, if instead of investing in a new home with their wife and kids, that they would like to bet on a new home with their wife and kids, that'll answer the question for you. So it's utter nonsense. Uh, sports investing is social investing. That's the thing to get online. That's what we need to do to fix, frankly, everything you see going on. All of it. Thank you for your time. Stay safe with your friends and family, and I'll update you again. Uh, should be next Sunday. I know we skipped one, but you know it's. Uh, I don't want to put one out if there's no reason. So, uh, you know, one to two weeks seems to be two weeks seems to be about the maximum gap. So one to two weeks you'll get uh, get one of these, and then program members will get interim emails as the circumstances uh, warrant. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for your time, and have a nice evening. Bye now.